Hi guys, hope everybody is doing well. It's a real honor, it's a pleasure being here. I love the TED community, the TEDx community. And I've got a chance to interact with some beautiful people here, amazing people, I'm looking forward to listening to them. Today's session, what I'm going to be sharing is very simple. I'm going to be sharing something that has the potential and the power to change absolutely everything in your life. Everything in your life. It will sound simple, it will sound easy, but from experience I know, not everybody will follow it. So if you follow it, everything can change, and if you don't follow it, nothing will change. So it's up to you, if you like what I share, if there's anything exciting, commit to taking action. Uh, many times I meet people and they tell me, Yogesh, you know, we saw your programs, we saw you doing something with His Holiness Dalai Lama, companies, thousands of people attend, IITs, military, Navy, Air Force, all those things, you know. We've read your books, your programs, but how did it all start, you know? What's the beginning? What's the origin story? So I thought I'll share this with you. If, if you follow this, this applies to every area of life, every area of life, and this is what you could make a note of this, it is, if you do what you are meant to do, if you do what you are meant to do with complete devotion, everything changes. If you do what you're meant to do with complete devotion, where you let go of your fears, everything changes. And uh, so growing up, when I was five years old, I used to sell, you know, for whatever reason, I used to sell toys, but at the age of 14, something happened, something very powerful that changed everything for me. And I feel it's the small things that happen that can change everything from the millions and trillions of possibilities out there you're sitting here. Something similar happened. I was 14 years old. I had come to India for a vacation. I was born in Mumbai, but I grew up in Tehran. I'd come for a vacation and my nani, my grandmother, she told me, Yogesh, I've enrolled you in a meditation class in a meditation course. It was, I think, two days, and I've already paid up. And in my head, I was, meditation is for some, something people do when they retire, when they become, I'm a teenager, but it's good she had paid up. Because when you pay up, you do things. And since, because she had already paid up, I went and attended. So it's always important to pay. Nothing comes for free. And the more you pay, the more you get. So I went for this meditation class, for this meditation session, and I sat right in the front, and I had the maximum number of questions. The maximum number of questions, and the reason I had these questions was two. The first reason was I was skeptical. I didn't believe, does this work, does this not work? So I asked questions. And the second was I was also curious. I wanted to learn. Somehow, I went through the program, I went through the course, and I started regularly practicing meditation. And that changed so many things in my life. It's a small thing, but huge impact. It made me calmer, it let, me, it let go of anxiety, stress, so many things. It gave me an inner sense of calm, and that led me on a journey. On a journey of learning, I said, okay, if this one thing, meditation can help me, what else is out there? So I started reading, I started learning. In those days, it was not as easy as today, you know. You, we didn't have access to the internet, you couldn't do any program you desire. So in those days, I used to buy these cassettes, CDs, programs, learn, you know, go. So from the age of 14 till 22, 23, 22, I was on this path of learning. So while I would study, I was very hungry to grow, I was very hungry to learn. And then I started working, I used to do all sorts of things. I stood at car exhibitions, the guy who shows you the car. I've gone door to door selling, and by the age I was around 22, that's 14 to 22, eight, nine years, I had made money. So, you know, once you understand certain principles, once you learn from people who have done it, I'd implemented it and made it. And I always believe good things grow when you share. If you hold everything to yourself, that's not how life works. If you share, the more you share, the more you give, the more you grow. And the more good you share, the better it is. 
the more joy you get and the more joy people around you get. So I started sharing and I was one day, I was meditating and just while I was meditating, I was 22 years old, I got a word which is happy on air and I said, okay, this is a nice word, uh, it connects with me and immediately I went and registered a domain, you know, $10 a domain. I said, I'll go register a domain and I started a blog where I would just share my ideas, just write. And that's why it's very important when you get an idea, many times people put it off to later, act now. Small things have a huge impact. If you're getting a beautiful idea now, go and act now. It can change everything. And I registered this domain and I started a blog. And I would just write, I would share, you know, my ideas on business, life, mindset, psychology, spirituality, whatever I was interested in. And one fine day, you know, college gets over, one fine day a friend of mine, he comes to me and he says, Yogesh, uh, he was an illustrator, and he says, Yogesh, can you help me find a job? I said, okay, I can help you find a job. Which company do you want to get a job in? He says, I don't know. I said, I have never heard of a company called I don't know. I've never heard of such a company. You have to be specific. Give me a name of a company. And he told me a company name called CNBC TV 18. He had apparently seen billboards being advertised in Mumbai. I said, okay. Uh, this was in Mumbai that time. And I said, okay, let me, see. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. So I go on the internet. In those days, there was no LinkedIn. There was a platform called Rise, where you, connect, where you could connect with people who are doing business. It was like a directory. So I search. I put in, you know, editor at CNBC TV 18. You know. I get a couple of names, different divisions. So I write to them. I said, hi, I'm Yogesh Chabria. I'm writing for a friend of mine. He's a great illustrator. Just check him out. That's it. I just wrote a mail, a small email, just helping somebody, a friend. She replied back to me. She says, OK, sure, you know, Yogesh, connect me with him. But I read your articles, because below my name, there's a link to my website, right, to my blog. She says, you know, I read your articles. I really loved what you're writing. Uh, would you like to do a column on money control? And money control has millions of readers reach. I said, sure, why not? Uh, again, let go of your fear and do what you're doing with devotion. Do whatever you're doing with devotion. Uh, I do this column on money control, and millions of people get access to it. I get so many messages, emails, they say, Yogesh, you know, what you shared really helped me. It impacted my life. It changed my life. Uh, CNBC TV 18 comes back to me and says, Yogesh, would you like to do a book? We are thinking of starting publishing. I said, sure, why not? I would love to do a book. And this, this became the first book in the Happy On Earth series. And it all started just with a desire to help. Every time you get an opportunity to help somebody, to share, to give, don't miss those out. They can be beautiful opportunities. And when you do it, not with the intention, oh, I'll make money, I'll get famous, I'll get powerful, don't look at those. Simply do what you're doing. It can change everything. This is how it started. It's so simple. And everything, you look at everybody's journey, this is how it starts. This is, this is not the place. The TED platform is not where it starts. It starts there. And the simple things, people forget the simple things. I was uh, doing a session. We had thousands of people, you know, I love, this is too short, the format is too short. Our sessions go on, you know, we, we, some of them go on for seven days. And I really enjoy the process. And a lady, she stands up in the crowd. And I can sense she's emotional. Uh, her eyes are moist and she says, Yogesh, I want to share something. I've never shared this. And somehow, something inside me triggered. There's some trigger, I don't know what. I thought I'll share it. It's in my heart. I said, go ahead, share it, you know. It's okay. And she shares that I have everything in the world, you know. I'm worth hundreds of millions of dollars. I have everything. I have a beautiful house, beautiful car, beautiful kids, beautiful husband. I have every single thing. I go to the best hotels. I have everything. But still, when I wake up in the morning, I feel empty. When I wake up in the morning, I feel empty. I don't know what to do. I have anxiety. I stress because of this, because deep down I feel empty. And I've tried everything. I've tried chemicals. I've tried pills. I've tried substances. I've tried everything, but nothing works. Can you help me? And this is what I shared with her, which I'm sharing with you. And if you understand this, you can discover real joy, real fulfillment, real, real, real happiness. And what I shared was known you know, in the East, in India, for thousands of years. So thousands of years before, in the East, in India, people wanted to understand how does the human mind work? 
how does the body affect your mind how does your breath affect your mind all so many things how does your how do your thoughts affect your mind and they came up with four things four goals for human existence to lead a fulfilling life to lead a meaningful life to lead a life with joy and i'll share these four with you the first is dharma many times people consider dharma as duty right you might have heard people say dharma is duty dharma is not duty in english there is no word for dharma the english language does not have an exact synonym for the word dharma dharma na, dharma goes beyond duty dharma means your natural state of being dharma is what you are meant to be i'll make it simpler for you because i want it to be simple so that you can take action life changes only when you take action and what what does dharma mean take a lion okay what is the lion's dharma the lion's dharma is to hunt for food to hunt for deer now if you do anything that goes against the lion's dharma the lion wouldn't be satisfied let us say you tell a lion to become a vegetarian or vegan what will happen to the lion the lion will die he is not meant to be a vegetarian or a vegan it will spoil the balance of nature because suddenly the number of deer goes up the deer eat up the forest so everything has to be in dharma if you tell the lion i'll put you in a zoo in new york in london paris mumbai shanghai i'll give you the best of food again the lion won't be happy i'll put you in a cage it might be a big cage not a small cage still the lion won't be happy because the lion has energy the lion wants to go out and hunt so anything you do that goes against your dharma your dharma as a student as a employee as a boss as a soldier as a business person as a states person as a scientist as a actor as a mother as a father as a son as a daughter as a grandparent do your dharma once you do your dharma everything changes and each one of you knows deep down what is your dharma each one of you knows you have to just tap into it so the first is dharma once you do your dharma you got track artha right? wealth knowledge all sorts of wealth now once you attract artha what do you do the third is karma what is karma karma refers to all the sensual pleasures of life you have to experience them all the sensual pleasures of life not just the bodily pleasures good food good art good music travel because if you have money and you don't experience it what is the use so you have to experience all those things all the beautiful things you are meant to experience now once you have experienced these so dharma artha kama that's when the fourth comes in which is moksha what is moksha moksha means liberation freedom self actualization that's when you start asking questions what is the purpose of being what is the purpose of existence why am i here what am i really meant to do and that can happen when you experience the first three if your stomach is hungry can you experience it no you have to fulfill those things and the challenge that happens to many people is in today's society why do people say we feel empty because many of them have experienced two what have they experienced they have experienced artha and kama they have experienced all the material wealth all the pleasures they have lost their sight on moksha and dharma and the easiest way easiest way to truly experience moksha is by simply following your dharma by simply doing what you do with devotion when you do it with devotion it shows it really shows you look at people you know the best people at what they do they get joy out of what they do and if everything for you becomes a meditative process what you are doing you will see wonders you know the best people the best at their field i met so many the best doctors the best architects the best statesmen states women actors scientists athletes teachers they don't work because they'll get money or fame or power the best chefs they do it because they love the process they simply enjoy the process right now i love what i'm doing i can sense a beautiful sense of flow it just comes there's this beautiful sense of flow and that sense of flow transcends everything and if you can tap into that sense of flow which everybody has every single person who has come here has it the like the lion the lion sense true pleasure when he is doing his dharma when he is chasing the deer hunting and that's what krishna says what does krishna say simply do 
He tells Arjun, but he's telling everybody, simply give it your best. Do whatever you're doing with complete devotion. Don't worry about the result. Don't worry what will happen. Don't worry if you'll make money, not make money. Leave all of that. Simply give it your best. And once you do this, you will experience joy. You will experience fulfillment through your work. This is called karma yoga. This is the easiest form. And still it is so difficult for so many people because they don't realize it. Whenever somebody tells me, you know, Yogesh, you can't change the world, they'll tell you that too. Each one of you will be told that. Uh, I'm reminded of a story of a small boy who was walking on a beach with his father. He's just holding his father's hand. And turtles are hatching out of eggs. Turtling, small baby turtles are hatching. And there are eagles roaming in the sky. Why, what do those eagles want to do? They want to come and eat the turtles. They want to eat the turtles, the baby turtles. And this small boy is just getting up, picking the turtles, putting them in the water. He's accelerating their journey because they have to crawl, right? 50% of the turtles die in that process. All of them don't reach. So he's trying to accelerate. He's picking up, putting them in the water. Picking up, putting them in the water. And his father says, son, you can't change the world of these turtles. You know, there are so many. Look at this. There are hundreds of thousands of turtles. He says, the boy picks up one turtle, puts him in the water. He says, I changed the life of that turtle. And that's what each one of you can do. By doing your dharma, you can change not just your life, the life around people you. And once you start giving back, once you start sharing, you will realize life is a beautiful journey. And go on this journey with love, with gratitude, with a sense of sharing, and don't consider anything too small. Whenever you get a chance to help, go out and help. Everything will change. And let go of fear, because fear is only in your mind. Once you let go of fear, you experience freedom. Beyond fear is freedom. Thank you very much. I had a lot of pleasure interacting with all of you. Thank you very much. Uh, bless you. Take care. This is just the beginning of the journey. Start and continue this beautiful journey of life.